Hello everyone and welcome back to War Game Red Dragon. We are concluding, I think, the infantry tab look for uh, Eurocore for the moment, and we're going to do that with ATGM. So you have a lot of ATGM options in Eurocore. Some of them may look redundant, but there are a couple of differences, and we're going to get to it. And we're going to start off with the uh, Paler Milan 2 and the French ATGM Milan F3. Yeah, so on paper, these two infantry squads um, for their ATGM capabilities are fairly similar. And um, you're talking a Milan S2 versus a Milan F3, which, you know, are just evolutions of each other. So the main difference here is going to be that the Milan F2 has that less accuracy, less AP. The Milan F3, more accuracy, more AP. This comes to the flip cost of availability. You're going to get less Milan F3s than you are F2s. However, A6 to 6.4, by the way. However, the Milan 2s, because of that lower accuracy, you're typically going to take them up vetted, which will just help them be a little bit more consistent in actually applying missile hits, which is very nice when we're talking about the uh, Mislon system. <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, the Milan 2, I think, is one of those ATGMs that it always seems to miss when you really need it to hit, and that is definitely something worth considering. It's why people often take the up vet. But I want to just focus for a minute just on the Milan 2, because the French do have a version of it as well, and the ATGM is the same. So why are we talking about the West German one here instead of the French? So the West German one gives us access to a unique transport option relative to its French counterparts, and that is the Fuchs Milan. Um, I know we just talked about Mislan, haha, funny. Um, but the Having access to the Fuchs Milan is really nice because it keeps your ATGM in wheels, but it also gives you a second ATGM within the same card. One of the big strengths of having a ATGM vehicle is not going to be for that additional, like, you know, front end smashing firepower, but it's to get more arcs of fire covered by ATGMs. Because especially with some of these lower AP value ones like a Milan F1, your goal is not necessarily to kill, your goal is to force your opponent to maneuver in certain ways and have to deal with the fact that there's an ATGM in a certain area with a disproportionate amount of force. So taking, if you're gonna take a Milan 2, you should take it in the Fuchs Milan because it gives you two missiles for functionally the same price as an F3. One of my favorite things to do with this is you call it in, you drop off the Milan 2, you move the Fuchs Milan a little bit, and then when something moves into range, you have two different, exactly as you said, you have two different angles it's coming from. One of them might hit front, one of them might hit side, neither of them might hit. But it's going to scare the bejesus out of your opponent either way, because if they have that expensive tank and they see something that's going to maybe hit side armor, that's going to be a rapid retreat. So it's definitely very good for zoning. Uh, let's assume that we had one pick uh, with a Chasseur or Reservist. We had three picks here already in Shocks and maybe an Elite if you uh, want to be edgy and take an Elite as well. And you have one slot left. Which one of these do you take? It really boils down to how you want to use your ATGMs. If you're somebody who prefers having a, you know, like fewer ATGMs, but ones that are going to be very dangerous when they hit, obviously the Milan F3 is going to be your choice. If you like scattering them around, you know, just having ATGMs coming out of every single bush, um, the Milan 2 in Fuchs Milan is going to be your best option there. Gotcha. And it sounds like you're going to be outvetting the Milan F2, maybe downvetting the Milan F3. And if you take the mm -hmm. Milan F3, what transport are we looking at here? The Panther? or something like one of the VABs? So the base VAB would be the traditional recommendation here, simply because um, if we're looking at the VAB T20, those cards are going to be taken up elsewhere. Uh, so I know it shows three right now. Trust me, in an actual deck, all three of those would have been burned long before we got to this pick. Um, so 10-point wheels get you somewhere nice and fast, especially with a more expensive, harder-hitting, less available ATG. Um, we're not really able to look at some of these more expensive transports because it is just making the cost of the overall card prohibitive. Um, so just 10 point wheels get you where you're going nice and fast. Gotcha, well, that sounds good. That's gonna be our unit comparison for today. Thank you all for hanging around. We'll have another one here for you. Moving on to the support tab tomorrow. <laughs> 